Yo, what's up? My name is Rich. Welcome back to another video. In this video right here, we're going to talk about screen printing versus printing your own transfers and also ordering some transfers because there's a lot of options that you are provided and there's a lot of different routes you can choose and you may be pondering, well, not even necessarily pondering. I'm getting this question asked a lot. So what's the difference between, you know, screen printing, ordering transfers or even ordering a printer that can make the transfers yourself. At the end of the day, there's pros and cons to each and every single method. When it comes to screen printing itself, there's going to be a huge learning curve for you. All right? You got to think about coding the screens properly, burning the screens properly, uh, different types of inks, um, whenever you're pressing the ink through the shirt properly. And then all of those equipment costs and there's a lot of different variables. However, whenever you get this down, you know, the quality is excellent. Screen printing quality is just great. You can't really beat it. However, one of the cons is, especially if you're just starting on your own, and if you want to use it, you know, to develop your own brand, you have to invest into the actual amount of t-shirts you're going to typically print. And even if you don't even have a large uh, amount of sales yet, and these t-shirts aren't sold yet, you still have to print these t-shirts because it makes no sense to get everything prepped up just to print one or two t-shirts you know setting up the screen setting up your registration setting up all the inks getting the inks out just to print one or two t-shirts to fulfill those amount of orders just wouldn't really make any sense so this is why a lot of people who get into the screen printing business ends up being into a print house that prints for other businesses who already know how many items that they need up front not necessarily whenever you're building your own brand so this is a con when it comes to that however you couldn't use it to make your own transfers as well now that might be an option however purchasing transfers from a different company is just so affordable and it just makes so much more sense to get somebody else to do it that will probably have higher end equipment than we actually do with screen printing the transfers ourselves making the transfers ourselves and it just makes much more sense to spend that amount of money with a different company who offers transfers for sale. All right, so I'm not saying don't print your own transfers because at the same time, if you screen print your own transfers, it's still going to be even cheaper than what it costs to get somebody else to do it. However, there's just such a large learning curve. For me, if, if you really wanna dive straight in and get something going, screen printing is going to take a little bit extra time for you to get down right. And I've done screen printing in the past and you know, let me tell you something, it is, feasible especially for somebody like you who wants to learn and have the will to learn how to do something like this you can absolutely do it now at the same time i will say some of you all might dive into it and realize it's not for you so make sure you do some deep research on it and see if that's something you just want to hire out instead of actually doing yourself now screen printing is a great option especially if you're building your own brand and now let's say you already do have the set amount of t-shirts that you want to print you know, if you want to keep it in house and print it yourself, screen print it, and you know exactly how many t-shirts you need to print, that's great. That's really good for you. However, you can leverage that time if you already know how to generate sales by taking it to an actual screen printer and getting it done at an affordable cost. You know, screen printing prices range nowadays, you know, um, a few years back, I used to pay anywhere from like 50 cents to a dollar per print. Now I see screen printing shops charging anywhere between like a dollar to even four dollars per print. So per print, color, um, and location or whatever. So do keep that in mind. However, if you already know how to gain sales with your own brand, you know, I would suggest getting somebody else to print it so you can focus your time on creating more sales. You know, that way you don't have to necessarily worry about printing and spending your time printing. Because whenever you spend your time printing, you are getting better at printing, however you're not getting better at getting sales. And you know, the more you get better at printing, you know, you can also use that to offer print services for other businesses as well. So you really gotta weigh the pros and cons and see if this is an option for you is screen printing. This might be a better option for you, especially if you're starting off. So for one, when it comes to screen printing, let's say, if you did dive into screen printing and you were ready to scale your business, it's hard to find a press operator nowadays who knows how to do everything and knows how to do it well. And once they do figure out how to do it well, they're going to realize that, oh, you know what? I could build up my own print shop. Now, that might not be the case just because you know how to screen print don't mean you know how to leverage sales and other parts of the actual business itself. Now, when it comes to actual transfers, yes, they may realize the fact that they can press T-shirts and they might think that they can do it themselves, but it's really easy to train somebody else how to do this 
put this on a t-shirt and heat press it. And it might be so easy to the point where they're like, you know, this isn't some kind of crazy skill. And you know what? The hardest part is gaining the sales to actually press these t-shirts. Now that is something to think about is that using heat transfers might be a little bit easier to teach somebody how to do, such as an employee, um, in comparison to teaching them how to actually screen print. So that's one thing about heat transfers. Now, another thing about heat transfers is you're investing into just the actual heat transfers itself. And you only need to order t-shirts as orders come in. So you may have to invest in stacks of cheap heat transfers. However, you don't have to invest in a whole bunch of t-shirts like actual screen printing. And this will also, let's say if you're starting a new brand, you have your screens already burned for your screen printing job and you have to kind of guesstimate the amount of t-shirts and the sizes and all of that you need, you don't have to worry about the sizes and all of that. When an order comes in, a size large comes in, all you gotta do is get yourself a size large and then press the actual t-shirt. You don't have to invest into the blanks. I feel like I said the same thing over and over, but that's pretty much it. And it also gives you more time to invest into different types of designs. Since you don't have to invest in the actual t-shirts to begin with, then you can invest in multiple different types of designs so i haven't yet dived into printing the heat transfers yourself and versus ordering it from somebody else but we're going to get straight into that right after this sponsor which is skillshare so big shout out to our sponsor skillshare check it out skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills so this is a great way to invest in yourself and your personal growth there's hundreds of thousands of classes on here and it's important to prioritize your time so right here skillshare makes it very easy to take lessons in portions and that's really what i like about skillshare because it's a great value to add to your life and i know a lot of you all who watch primarily interest in apparel design selling t-shirts you can learn all those things but one cool class that's on here is learning actually how to use adobe photoshop and illustrator some of you all may know the basics some of you all may need to learn the basics and this is a great way to start because there's hundreds if not thousands of classes on here actually and there's classes on designing on illustrator photoshop t-shirt designs patterns there's just so much to it and this is going to help elevate your designs to the next level the first thousand people can use the link in my description box or my code will get one month free trial of skillshare welcome back to the video now it sounds like i may be uh pushing heat transfers a little bit too much compared to screen printing However, I'm absolutely not. I love screen printing and you know, screen printing has a lot of pros to it. However, it just doesn't benefit my situation. My situation is different from everybody else's. So when it comes to using heat transfers, I like to use it for a brand online when I don't know the exact type of t-shirts coming in. And the reason why I say that is because it helps me allow being able to test the market with multiple different designs quickly, like having screen printed transfers. However, when a particular design gets very popular and I know this item does very well, that's the time when I send that actual order to a screen printer where I can produce it even cheaper and even quicker than I possibly could. So all we have to do is worry at that point just about fulfillment itself so screen printing has its place heat transfers has its place now the big question that i get asked a lot now is heat transfers making it yourself or ordering heat transfers from a different company now there's a whole bunch of heat transfer equipment out now you got your dtf printers you got your white toner printers white toners i feel like it's phasing out a little bit however it does still have its place quality might not be as great when it comes to stretching and whatnot as dtf however they both have their pros and cons as well all right so white toner printer is great if you're not really producing too many t-shirts at a time and you're willing to let that printer itself sit all right because there's really no maintenance i've let the printer sit for three, four months and I didn't have any issues. I turn it on and I'm already printing a transfer. However, the quality of it itself can start cracking maybe after like 20 washers or so. I haven't had the greatest results when it came to that, but I've only had maybe like two complaints per thousand orders on Etsy when it comes to that. Um, we are our own worst critic when it comes to printing, especially the more you dive into this, you're like, that's not the quality that I want. Most end customers do not know the difference. Now, when it comes to a DTF printer, it's kind of pricey. Um, so is a white toner printer as well. However, a DTA printer is basically buying like a DTG printer, you know, same print heads and all of that. And of course, if, even if you have your wet uh, cap system, whatever, it can still mess up if you're not running these printers all of the time. All right. So that's another thing. However, 
DTF has been a little more awesome than DTG just because if you're starting off, DTG is kind of slow depending on your budget as well. You know, if you're spending like sub $20,000 on a DTG printer, it's not going to be the fastest. You probably get something done between like three to eight minutes depending on colors and the pre-treatment and all of that. But somebody needs to be there to change the t-shirt, upload another design to print, change the t-shirt, pre-treat this t-shirt. What's awesome about DTEF is whenever you need some transfers printed, it's just running. And what's awesome about it, if, if you have the one that rolls it up, you can just leave the transfers printing and running. So that's great. However, and I say however a lot because there's a lot of variables to each and every single situation. When it comes to DTF printing, you got to let it print all the time so it doesn't mess up, right? And then uh, for those of you all who are starting off like sub $5,000, they're probably starting off with like a DIY type DTF printer. And it can be slow and you might not have the one that rolls up. It's going to print out in sheets and not necessarily rolls and you got to take it and you got to put the powder on it and then heat press it and put it to the side. Um, but if you got like ten to twenty thousand dollars, I believe at this point for DTF, you know you can get the ones that print and roll up, and it already uh, has the little heater on it as well, so it's ready to press as soon as it's done. And you really don't have somebody to have to hover over the machine itself, and you know let somebody watch it and make sure it's printing properly. So that's an awesome win when it comes to DTF. Now, when it comes to ordering a transfer from somebody else you really don't calculate that versus time okay i know a lot of you all want to say hey it's going to take two three four days in transit compared to yourself printing it and you can have it done in like a few hours i don't i don't calculate that versus a lot of other people do you're like you're waiting six days for your transfer or whatever compared to um you buying a cheaper printer and saying it prints out faster than that I can't I can't do that comparison now here's the thing when it comes to ordering transfers from a different company those companies have transfer printing equipment that's gonna cost you know in the north of six figures and whatnot right for the actual printers itself so your quality is going to be amazing compared to what you can make yourself that's going to be the most huge difference and you don't really have to tackle the learning curve of how to print the actual transfer itself and now you can even save your time depending on how many days, whatever it takes to print and print uh, the actual transfers, you can spend your time on focusing on getting more sales. At the end of the day, all that really matters is getting sales in this game, getting t-shirt sales, you know? So without that, you won't have anything else to really worry about. And also, if you do decide to print transfers yourself, it's just kind of like how screen printing you know, you you this, you get into screen printing to build to print for your own brand. However, you end up turning into a print house to print other people's brands and all of their types of T-shirts. Same thing is happening in the transfer business. You're you're purchasing a transfer printer to print for your own brand or your own, you know, uh, generic brand like say on Amazon, Etsy. But instead, you turn into a transfer print house where you're printing transfers for other businesses because you see it a lot right now. I'm selling transfers. So that's something else that you should really think about. Now to answer the true question that I always get asked is which one is better? None of them is really better. They all have their own place. It really depends on your actual situation itself. So you really have to evaluate your own situation to see which process works for you. Now the process that I think would be great for me is printing my own transfers for those little one-off orders. If a particular design gets a little more popular into the hundreds, range like this particular design is selling like a hundred hundred times a month or something i can send that design off into a transfer company who's can produce that for me and now when i have that particular design get even more beyond that i send it to a screen printer all right so screen printer is going to be great for super huge productions ordering transfers from somebody else is great for if you want to get into a little bit of production and you know you just want to train somebody else how to press on t-shirts then you're good to go and you know it's it's actually really effective whenever you're doing a few hundred t-shirts at a time or even a few thousand honestly it's just going to take a little bit more time than actual screen printing and now whenever you're printing your own transfers this is great for all of those little one-off orders whenever it's selling you know one time here per month or two times here per month but you need a way to fulfill those orders and these are designs that just wouldn't make sense to get printed from an actual uh, transfer company because for one, it doesn't reach your minimum or two, you know, the profit margins are just a little off because you're using their lowest minimum. 
but whenever you print yourself, you know, you got the highest margin possible. So that's pretty much it when it comes to screen printing versus heat transfers versus printing the actual heat transfers out yourself. I might have missed quite a few talking points, but I feel like we covered quite a bit. There's still a lot more to cover. However, I hope this video helped you out. Comment, like, subscribe. I'm going to see y'all next time.